Acromatic Chronicles Blue is the first graphic novel released from J. David, or as many of you on YouTube may know him, Drunk 3PO. Now, this particular copy was sent to me by one of my fantastic subscribers. In fact, I will name her here, Maji Chan, uh, because she ended up with two copies and sent this to me because I was not able at the time to pick this up. However, I have gone through it, I've read it, I've taken some time to process it, and ladies and gentlemen, this is a really wonderful story, uh, especially for young people, which is who Jay wrote it for. Now, the story takes place in a world that is gray. It's gray, everything is the same. You must follow the rules as the rules are intended, and anybody different is mocked, and, and anybody different very much gets chastised in society. Now, the reason that I say that this is a fantastic read is because I think of some of the instances I went through when I was a kid, and some of the instances my children go through as well. I was telling my wife about it. In fact, my wife was like, I really would like our kids to read this because I feel that our kids go through some of those things. And the basic premise of the story is you have a young man who lives in a world who just can't help being different. He's inquisitive. He likes to ask questions. He wants to know more about the world. He wants to do things slightly differently. In one scene of the story, and this doesn't give much away, he turns his pillow around when he makes his bed. Small things like that, little things like that that are considered rebellious in this world. But he doesn't call them rebellious. He calls them different, right? Whenever he decides to ask questions in school, he's constantly lambasted by teachers and others. He can't quite do things the way that you're supposed to do them. You have to fit in. You must fit in. And unless you fit in, you will go nowhere in life. And that is a very, very big, very big plot line in this story. Well, I guess not plot line, but it's a very big theme in this story. Now, one of the things that I found very interesting is the first time I tried sitting down and reading this, life was explosive. I just, I didn't have the time. I got a few pages in and I just was not able to maintain my focus. And I really wasn't sure that this story was going to grab me because of that. So when I finally decided to sit down and actually read it and go, okay, I've, I've cleared my schedule, I've committed time to reading this, I found myself enjoying it more and more as I went through the story. You see, the story starts off very slow. However, it has a gradual acceleration in the story and the storytelling as it goes along, which is something very interesting. A lot of people usually have stories where they like to do what I call shifting gears, right? They go from a higher gear to, or they go from a lower gear to a higher gear, and it's noticeably different speed, pace, and so on. And a lot of stories are told like that. This one here has that gradual acceleration, right? It just, it starts at a slower pace, and as you get towards the end, it starts to pick up and more things happen gradually versus in steps or in what I, the gear shift. That was a really big surprise to me and how he wrote that. Now, I don't know if that was something that he meant intentionally, but that's what I picked up from this. And again, telling a story of a young child going through life and just trying to be themselves and being told that they're not what society wants you to be. And you need to not be you in order to fit into society is something I think that everybody can absolutely agree with. Now, as the main character goes through the story, he finds the color, right? The color blue here. And what's so interesting is he, the color blue tells him, no, I like that you ask questions. I like how you are. You know, you're, you're very much a good person. And that's something that this young man is not used to hearing. And I think that that goes back to a lot of people that we can think of when we were young. People that looked at us and they said, you know, you are a little bit odd, but odd is good and odd is you. And you know what? You just have to figure out how to make you work in society, right? Where is something I think a lot of young people really struggle with and really need to hear in today's modern world. And to be perfectly honest, really need to hear in every decade of the world. I had to hear it when I was a kid from other people that I talked to, and I know people before me had to hear it. You know, the struggle to fit into society is something that I think most of us when we were young questioned. Are we really cut out for this? Is the world really this way? Can we find our own way? And this book really explores that. Now, as the adventure goes on, you start to see that 
things happen. Unforeseen things happen, and they take the main character and Blue um, in different directions. And then all of a sudden, we're launched into the world of color. We're no longer in the gray world anymore. We're in the world of color. And the main character and Blue, they get to experience that and have fun there. And they also, by the end of the book, realize maybe showing the gray world color is actually the thing to do. I like this because the moral of the story is not to hide yourself from the world and not to be against the world, but to use what you know inside of yourself and to use what you know and present that to the world, sometimes in a drastic way and sometimes in a thoughtful way, and really present who you are to the world as unique in a good way. And to be perfectly honest, I was very surprised by this. Like I said, the first time I tried to sit down and read it, it didn't grab me, but I had a lot of things going on. I wasn't able to sit down and take the time to read it. And in my busy schedule, if I have things going on, it's hard for me to focus on what I'm reading. But when you clear the schedule, when you sit down and you read this, there are so many things that I thought of that happened to me when I was a kid, things that I've heard my children say. And I realized, holy crap, this book is for those who are just trying to figure out themselves and figure out how they work in society. Overall, guys, I really had a great time with Acromatic Chronicles Blue. Um, I, I, I liked the story. I found myself smiling more and more. I found myself reflecting on my childhood. I've not read a book this year that's made me do that. And I just couldn't help but wonder how much time did it take Jay, drunk 3PO, to put himself back in that mindset? Because oftentimes as adults, we forget about those things. We forget about the times when we were kids. But it seems like Jay didn't. It seems like he may hold those moments near and dear to his heart. And it seems like he was able to overcome those moments in his life. And he was able to put those moments and really, really talk in a very, very good way to people, especially young people who are just trying to figure out how them being unique in their own way fits in to this daily world. So as always, I will leave you with my rating. My rating is this. I don't care about a score one to 10. None of that matters to me. My score is buy or don't buy. Will I be buying the next installment of Acromatic Chronicles? The answer is yes, I will. Because if it keeps on this pace, this is a book that I can put into the hands of my children. This is the book that can be put into the hands of, I believe, many children. And this is the type of book that we need more of. So I will be buying the next one. I am utterly grateful that this one was sent to me, but my wife and I will be moving our finances around to make sure that we can purchase this. If you have nieces, nephews, younger brothers and sisters, if you're a part of the Big Brother Big Sister program, if you're... If, for any reason, if there's any younger people in your life, probably I would say 10 to 14. I think that this book really resonates with that age group. If I had to take a guess, pick this up, find a way to get it. See if he's going to do another print run. Because this right here is what our young people need to read. And I'm very, very grateful to Maji Chan for sending this to me. So hopefully you guys like this review. Definitely toned down from a lot of other reviews that I've done. But when talking about this book, I don't need to be excitable and loud and, and all of those things. When talking about Acromatic Chronicles Blue, I just need to tell you that it made me remember my childhood, the things that I went through. And it made me think about my children and the things that they go through. And that right there... This is a multi-generational book, ladies and gentlemen. So buy it and pass it along to the future. So with all of that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for checking out my review 
of Achromatic Chronicles Blue by J. David, or Drunk 3PO as you know him, and stay on the lookout for his next Achromatic Chronicles book, because I know I will. And as always, until next time, cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. And I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my Gilded server and my adrinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well. So click that link while you're down there. See you next time.